My name is Rory Sutherland. I'm a, a copywriter. I worked for Ogilvy. I joined as a graduate trainee in 1988. I've been variously head of copy, uh, executive creative director at Ogilvy One. I'm now vice chairman of the Ogilvy Group in the UK. And I was originally a graduate trainee, then destined to be an account man, as back then nearly all graduate trainees were. Was an account man for about eight months, possibly the world's worst. And eventually, I think after about 18 months, of uh, generally knocking around, I uh, managed to get a job in the creative department in 1990. And then I started as a junior copywriter there. I didn't know what I wanted to do really um, for uh, at least three and a half, th three years at least of university. I wanted to work in something that was reasonably sociable and probably non-financial. My father, surprisingly, looking back on it, you would have expected him to put some pressure on me to go into the law because he himself had been aiming to be a barrister and then had abandoned it at the last minute when his father died. And I think one of the things my father felt is that he'd slightly resented the pressure that had fallen on him to follow the conventional path, so he wasn't going to put any pressure on us. I graduated uh, in classics and then spent another year in Cambridge uh, doing a PGC, because at one stage I wasn't sure that I didn't want to teach. I was fairly sure, incidentally, that I didn't want to teach immediately. I didn't want to get, do that rather frightening thing of going school, university, and then back to school again. But I thought it would be quite useful to get a teaching qualification because it was something you could do a little later in life. I don't have that many kind of uh, uh, hobbies that are completely non uh, that are completely non work related. Every, you know, everything I do, it might be writing about technology, or it might be, uh, you know, generally blogging. There are certain things I don't do. I'm not remotely interested in sport, so that clears up a huge amount of my time not talking total crap about Burroughs midfield trio. Broadly speaking, what distinguishes me is I'm quite inquisitive. It's not, it's not purely a kind of creative drive. It's also that you are interested in what David Ogilvy called an extensive browser in all kinds of fields. Problem solving is the main motivation. Whether that's, whether that's driven through competitive urges or just it's something intrinsic rather like solving a crossword I don't quite know but one of the things I find very interesting is that most of the time there's a creative solution to most problems much my work-life balance is a bit better than it was because one of the things I realized suddenly is that just just for a brief time and wrongly I thought someone close to me was very ill the idea that actually you only get to see someone and spend a lot of time with someone you're very close to because there is, is when they, you think they're very ill is bonkers. I also have so far completely failed to make the point that I've been very, very lucky. There's a huge component of, uh, of luck in anybody's career which most people are reluctant to admit to because obviously if you've been successful the urge to attribute it all to your own efforts is quite powerful. I probably should have been better at grabbing opportunities, in truth. My brother was an academic, so I first used the internet in 1987. I was a marketing guy, a copywriter with quite a good marketing background in 1994 who understood the internet pretty well. And I should have made more money out of that, uh, to be absolutely honest. I'm slightly fascinated by things that, that I think are underrated or undervalued and tend to obsess about those things. And that applies to a few things. You know, I go on holiday to Madeira, which is a famously unfashionable place to go. But I find it quite nice because there are no young people there and it's generally peaceful and quiet and, and, and the climate's wonderful and so is the Madeira. The nice thing about this business is more or less anything you do or anything you read or any film you go and see. If it helps you understand people a little better, it probably makes you better at your job.